to recognize Ron Burke becoming the first trainer or driver to pass the $300 million mark. HRU contacted seven members of the Burke Brigade, Mickey and Sylvia Burke, Yannick Gingra, Larry Carr, Joe Corey, Shannon Murph Murphy, and Mark Weaver, and asked them two simple questions. Number one, did you ever think a number like $300 million was possible? And number two, how do you think Ronnie feels about this milestone? Those responses were then read to Ronnie in person and recorded to see if he could tell who said what. These are just random answers from those seven people. Nobody ever did it before in the history of harness racing. And I didn't think that we would do it. It just happened. And probably nobody will ever do it again. That's my dad. <laughs> my dad, it's easy. My dad is, you know, he, he understands the game. I never thought about it, but I am proud of the whole Burke Brigade. That is Joe Corey. It's your mom. My mom. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, absolutely, there was never a doubt. It was more a matter of when than if. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're getting down to the end here. So I'm going to read both of these, and you can figure out who's who. Although I never dreamed 300 million in purses was possible, I think if Ronnie followed my training tips, he would have reached this milestone even sooner. And the other one is for sure. Ass okay, assuming things stay constant with the state of harness racing, 500 million is attainable if he wants it. Larry and Joe. Yep. Larry Carr and Joe Corey. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So you, you kind of got a feel yeah, for it. Yeah, some, some of them I can do. That, that one, it was, it was generic enough that it could have been any of them. It, right. That, right. But Larry, he, he has a sense of humor. He, him and Mark are going to be the ones that have the most, you know, are going to have fun with it. All right. Um, all right. So here's, here is question number two. Okay. All right. Um... You're probably getting more excitement out of me than you'll ever get out of Ronnie. He'll tell you point blank, the only thing that impresses me is money. My dad. Yep. <laughs> but this one, he, I, 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 a little bit more of this than I've ever been with any of the, it was the one I wanted. So, I, like, I, yeah, I do like this one. Um, okay, let's see. I'm sure he's very proud of it, as he should be. But Ronnie is the type of guy that doesn't say much about records. It's just another day at the office. That's gonna be Mom or Murph. I'm gonna go Mom. It's Murph. Murph. <laughs> I, 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 them two, I could have seen either. The office word, I gave it to Mom because she said office. Okay. Um, I think he thinks it's a big deal. That's a big milestone, 300 million. That is a lot of money. Yeah. No, that's your mom. My mom, wow. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think it's something he's extremely proud of. However, not just for him, but his family, his partners, his employees. The Burt Brigade is truly a big family and he's proud of that. Joe. Yep. Yeah. Joe's very well spoken. I was gonna say that's I read these yeah, to Joe's to Mark in the car, yeah. and he's like, yeah, he, it's somewhere between Joe and Larry. He's gonna know. Yeah. Um, I don't think he looks at reaching this milestone as being about him as an individual, but rather he will view it as a recognition of a tremendous amount of effort by a fantastic team, the entire Burke Brigade. And he's looking forward to grinding to a billion. Larry. Yep, that is Larry. Okay, so for the last, we're at the end here. So we're down to Yannick. And Mark. 
and Mark. I think this one is probably extra special to him, being that no other trainer or driver have accomplished Mark. it. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Okay, it's, but, but listen to Yannick's now. Yeah. I think this is the one record he's most proud of. Being the first one at that number means a lot. Yeah, that I would have got them. I could have done them both, yeah. Because Mark has heard me speak about it, and that's how I speak about it. So it's easy to, you know, and yeah, the key notes. He knows how hard it is to get there. He, you know, he understands. He's trying to do it, too. So was it fun for you? Yeah, no, it it's cool. And it's, you know, it, it's something that's easy. My dad I'm going to always hit on, right? I, you know, being honest, I grew up around my father. It's going to be the easiest for me. Mark's probably even going to be, even though my mom, I'm around Mark so much anymore that I know Mark's speech patterns and I, you know, I know how he speaks and he knows how I speak. So, you know, he knows what's, you know, my mom, uh, to quote her, she, uh, one time she told me, I thought you were a better person than that. So she probably gives me a good more credit than I deserve. And uh, so it's it. Larry and Joe are the hardest because they're both well educated and they, you know, both are from New York, New Jersey. They look at the world, you know, a little bit different. So that, that's the toughest one thing. I'm surprised Murph, I struggled so much with, but I think Murph put a lot more thought into it than I thought he would. <laughs>